today is the 21st of April and it's very exciting because Twist and I are off to see the Prisoner of Azkaban in concert, I think is what it's called, with the Sydney Symphony Orchestra. I'm so excited. We went to the uh, Chamber of Secrets because we missed the first one, which is really sad. Uh, we went to the Chamber of Secrets and we loved it. It was so much fun. It's also so exciting being in a room with people that you know love Harry Potter <laughs> and getting to watch it because obviously it's not at the movies anymore so you don't get that experience but it's really cool. Um, so very excited and I love seeing the Sydney Symphony because I just think they're just the best aren't they. We were supposed to go with Annie and Tun and April and Tim but they didn't realise that they had a wedding on. Ugh losers. Damn it, Nat. How dare you get married? <laughs> um, that's a bit sad that they can't come. And they tried to find people to take their tickets, but they couldn't. So that's a bit sad. Who is that hottie? <laughs> Who's the hottie with the body? <laughs> hey. Ribena, Yay! The juice for giants. Oh, that makes sense. Hey, Jay. Yeah. Spot a Reno. No! <laughs> Guys, there's a Spoto Reno over there. The ultimate get. Hey, Twist. Hey, Jake. Are you excited about Hazpot? <laughs> yeah. I saw you from inside the shop. I thought you were talking on the phone for a second, and I was like, wait a second. <laughs> She's smiling way too much. <laughs> she doesn't like anyone that much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, and then we're going to go to Beatty's afterwards. Woo! With a discount book. Twice in two weeks. Ow, ow. Yes, uh, the way it should ow, be. Ow. Do you have anything to say to us um, about the day? I'm excited. Hey, Alpha. Woo! Sips excited. Sips, sips excited. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. I'm about to lose control and I think I like it. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to go in. Excitement! It's so busy. Hey, Jay. Hey, Jay. <laughs> hey. Oh, hey, Jay, what are we seeing? I've already told them what we're no, them. You're the two people inside the camera. Loving it. Lots of lols. Lots of hot dogs. Good. <laughs> How'd you find it? Was it d delicious? delicious and I have we have favors. takeaway. We ordered so much food that um, <laughs> when we finished ordering, she was like, our waitress was like, so that's a lot of food. And we're like, yeah. And we're like, yeah, that's yeah, fine. We've got it. We've got this. <laughs> We've got this. That's exactly what we want. <laughs> um, and then when we had to get takeaway, she was like, she did like oh. a knowing laugh. Like, she was like, can we get this taken away? And she was like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, it was really funny. It was so good. So good. I took my red lipstick off because I just wanted to. I just out. wanted to get into that food. I just wanted to eat it and not, you know, because when you eat with lipstick, you're like, is my lipstick ruined? And oh, maybe that's just me. 
<laughs> so yeah, and now we're going home. And it's been a lovely day. Oh. Hasn't it, Twist? Has been, yes. Have you had a good day? Marvellous day. A marvellous no day. No more fat. Oh. No more fat. Um, guys, I got a Haspot tea, but they only had double extra large. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna wear it as a dress. But it says ha Harry Potter film concert on the front. And then on the back, ah! when I put it on, I'll update you with how that looks. Because it will, in all likelihood, look absolutely hilarious and you'll enjoy laughing at me. Time to go home. Wama. Wama. Goodbye. <laughs> see you later, guys. Goodbye. See you, see goodbye. You, see you. Good friends, goodbye. Goodbye. Time to go away. I can't believe I'm dating something that. Something? <laughs> I can't believe I'm dating Thanks. some. I can't believe I'm dating someone that just got the Bear in the Big Blue House lyrics wrong. Hey. I, you know I struggle with Regretting lyrics. life choices. <laughs> <laughs> so we just got home and I just wanted to show you quickly um, my outfit because this is one of my favourite dresses that I own and I just think it's the best and I've had it for a long time actually, like a really long time. I don't know if you can really see it, it's like, it's got like a little square pattern and it ties up around the waist and it like comes across. I love anything that ties up at the waist. I think it's really flattering. And it falls really nicely. I got my little boots on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Anyway, that's all. I just wanted to show it because I realised that I had not filmed it yet. So yeah, that's the dress. Fancy pants. I just tried on my shirt. Are you ready for this? <laughs> Just a shirt. That's that. I had to get my concert merch. That's the thing, you know. Nice. Okay, guys, it is time for one of my favorite things in the whole world. <laughs> I have a book haul and I'm very excited. I'm very tired. If I sound deeper than usual. I have a book haul. So just a brief like overview of the last few months with me and my books. I so I did the book haul in my first video and then like a few weeks later I did another book haul in a different video because I realized those books were too big to read before the end of the year. So I got little of books and then it turns out that December was just like not a good time for reading because I was busy with Christmas stuff so I didn't read any of those books and then I got a bunch of books at Christmas so I've spent from after we got back from holidays until now slowly getting through those I think there was like 18 19 books or something and I finally finished I'm so pleased because one of my favorite things about reading books is buying new books <laughs> I'm very excited. I have a lot of books here. <laughs> okay, first of all, I just wanted to talk about this book because I think I talked about it briefly in my Christmas video, but I didn't really show it, and I have to show it because I love it. I, like a week ago, I finished Les Mis, my clock found one. Oh, it's a bit, looking a bit worse for wear because, I mean, like, you know, it's a big book, so your hands are on it for a long time. Oh, I love this book. <laughs> I think I would have loved it if I had read it without knowing about the musical, but 
with how much I love the musical, it just added to this. I think they made a lot of changes in the musical, which I understand because, you know, a musical can't be this long and you have to kind of make things make sense if you're sh shortening it, I guess, so you have to change things to make it fit in. That's okay. I just loved it. I loved learning about characters that I already know and love. Like, I don't know why I haven't read this before, because it's like, it's just the best. I love Les Mis, it's my favorite musical. You have to watch the 10th anniversary concert because it has Michael Ball in it, who is the ultimate Marius. But my favorite is the 25th anniversary, just minus Nick Jonas. I don't think he has a musical theatre voice, which is fine, neither do I, but I don't think that means you should be at the 25th anniversary of one of the greatest musicals of all time, playing Marius, one of the biggest characters. Anyway, so you have to watch both of those, and hopefully you love it. Alfie Bo, who plays Jean Valjean on the 25th, is like, just, his voice is just ridiculous, and it's stupid, and I need to stop talking about this, but I just loved reading this. I loved it. <laughs> also, I wanted to talk about this one, which I have read, but I haven't talked about it, and it's a cloth bound, so. My lovely cousin-in-law, Kimberly, bought me the cloth bound of Alice in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass, which is just so cute. Isn't it adorable? I really enjoyed it. I didn't realize how short Alice in Wonderland was, because I'd, not, I'd never read it before, and I'd seen the movies, and obviously they're movie length. <laughs> But this is like, Alice in Wonderland is like a hundred pages. Which is so short. But anyway, I really enjoyed it. It was good. Oh, it's gonna be long, sorry guys. I hope you like books. Moving on to the books that I bought. Oh, I love them so much. Okay, so first off, I was birthday shopping for mum and ended up with the same amount of presents for myself. <laughs> Oops, actually, no, that's not true. I got one more. Really quick, brief story. I went, I was on the Kinakunya, is it Kinakunya or Kinakunya? I don't know. I'm just gonna call it Kinakunya, um, which is <clears throat> a huge bookshop in the city. And I was on their website, just browsing. And they had these beautiful versions of Shakespeare that I just thought was so, so cool. Yeah, I own Hamlet but it's just one of the normal orange penguin ones. And I saw them and I was like, I must have them. If I am going to read Shakespeare, I need them to be in these covers. So I was like coveting those for a long time. And then I went birthday shopping for mum in, what's it called, QBD, is that it? In the plaza? I think that's what it's called, QBD. And they had three of them. They had three of the Shakespeare covers. And I'd never seen them anywhere else apart from Kinakunya. On the website as well, I couldn't find them in the store. And I was like, I can't not get them because there was only one of each and so I had to buy them. So, I've read them now because they're like tiny. <laughs> My favourites are the black covers, but the blue ones are beautiful too. So this is The Tempest, which is just like so cool. And it has a little one on the back as well. This is Romeo and Juliet, which I just think is beautiful. Look at this cover! And then it's got that on the back. They're just the most beautiful colours. Let me tell you, they're designed by someone called Manuja Waldia. <laughs> I definitely got that right. You're welcome. And then I also got Othello, which I mean, they're just so cool. I found out last night that they've released more. There's like 29 of them now. 29? Maybe it wasn't that many, but basically I'm in trouble because they're just so beautiful. And if they sold out, I would be so sad. And I don't want to be sad, I want to be happy. So I have to buy them. Don't I? I'd never seen Cloth Bounds in QBD before, and they had two. But I went for this one because the other one was Picture of Dorian Gray. Already on that, so I might ask for it as a present because I don't feel like I should spend money on it. They had Dracula, 
I'd never seen cloth bands there before, but they just had a bloody Dracula, didn't they? Which is just like, so cool. Oh my goodness. I've never read or watched Dracula, so I'm very excited about this. Um, it's just like, <sighs> so then I went to, <laughs> so I hadn't read those yet, but Tristan and I wanted to go on a day trip, so we went up to Lura. Really sad guys, Ruby Fruit is closed. And I didn't know. Apparently they want to spend time focusing on their family. <laughs> How selfish. So that was really sad, but we went to Megalong Books, which is wonderful. And whoopsie, things happened. So I got Lady Chatterley's Lover by D.H. Lawrence. How cool is that? If you watched my first book haul, you will have seen this baby, which I just love. Ah, let me actually just read you because I forgot to, I just basically fangirled over them instead of telling you what the design actually is. So it says in the back, the designs for the Vintage Classics Russian series have been created by vintage creative director Suzanne Dean, assembled from a variety of authentic Russian textile designs from the 19th century and Soviet era. The textiles come from the collection of Susan Meller, author and founder of the Design Library in New York. So they're just like, such a cool idea. And then inside it's like, got a fancy pattern too. And I just love them. And there's six of them. And I now own four. <laughs> so they have War and Peace as well. Which is another thing that I don't think I should spend money on. I think I should get it as like a birthday present because I have a copy of War and Peace. <laughs> And I want to spend money on new books, not books I already have. So I didn't buy that one. And then there, there was one more, but they didn't have it at Megalong, so that's a bit bad. Um, which is Life and Fate. I can't actually read the author. So, two left to complete my collection. So let me show you the other ones, because I just, oh, <laughs> I love them. Okay, so yeah, I'm not going to be able to say his name's right. Please excuse me. I'm not stupid I just I mean I'm not good with foreign names so the master and margarita by Mikhail Bulgakov she looks like this ah oh, and that's the spine and inside it's like this ah oh, they're just like really lovely books as well like I love the size they're just big and like also, Dr. Zavago by Boris Pasternak, which looks like this, which is super cool and beautiful. That's the spine, check inside. Ah, can you tell this is like, oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> I seriously spent so much time staring at these because I sit on my desk here until I've read them and then I allow myself to put them on my bookshelf. And I just stare at them. So the last one that I got, I'm super excited about because I wanted to read it for a long time. Um, but it was hefty and I was giving myself a break from reading War and Peace because that is hefty. And I love Tolstoy, but it's it's a lot of work. <laughs> um, so I got Anna Karenina. <gasps> Look! <gasps> I love this one so much and the spine is Lovely. Oh, I'm so happy. And then the inside looks like this, which is just beautiful, isn't it? So I'm so pleased with these. Let me show you them sitting together. I can't wait to have all six. I feel like, like I'm really enjoying filling up my bookshelf at the moment, so I won't put them all together at the moment because I have it in um, alphabetical author order. But I feel like once my bookshelves are quite full, I'm gonna display these somewhere because oh, I don't know if this is like a weird me thing. I really love them and I'm so excited to read them. So then <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm set, I'm fine. Don't need any more, I'll read those and then I'll save up some like dog sitting money and buy more. We went to the city, as you saw, we went to Kinokunya. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really think about it, but like mum was like, so is there anything you want to do while we're in the city? And I was like, oh, I'd love to go to Kinagunya. Not thinking that I already had like 50 books to read. 
Last time I went to Kinokuniya, which was in like December, I think, they didn't have any cloth bound classics. So I was like safe. I could just pick a few books that I liked and that was fine. They had the most cloth bound classics I have seen in person in my life. I nearly pissed myself. It was a disaster. And then I had to pick some. Had to. <laughs> I picked some. I have two Charles Dickens cloth bounds. I have Oliver Twist and Great Expectation. I think that's it. Because they're quite common, which is weird. But they had three that I didn't have and I love Charles Dickens. I really, really enjoy reading his books. So I had to pick out of three. And I went with A Tale of Two Cities because I think it was the most popular one of the three that were there. And I would love to read it. I've always wanted to read it. So that is just, I think it's really cool. I think it's a really beautiful cover. And I'm so excited to read that because I haven't read Charles Dickens for a little while. Uh, from like the first moment I found out about Cloth Bound Classics, I wanted the set of the Jane Austen ones because I only own Pride and Prejudice and Persuasion and they are both like the vintage classics, so it's red, it's fine, boring cover. And I saw the Cloth Bound Classic ones and I was like, they are so beautiful because they look just lovely as a set. I think they're just stunning. I looked them up and they only had them in the UK and I was devastated, but I thought I'll just leave it. Maybe they'll come eventually. They were in Kinokunya. It was the worst but best thing that could have happened to me. So I had to pick which ones I wanted because <laughs> they're expensive. But they had pretty much all of them. So I didn't get Persuasion or Pride and Prejudice because I already own them more presents that I can't buy for myself, but other people can buy for me. I picked the ones that I thought were nicest because obviously they'll fit together and I want them to look beautiful. Let me start with the least beautiful. I really like the color of this one. I think it's lovely. So I got Mansfield Park, which has chains on it and I don't know why. <gasps> That's also the really exciting thing when they're books you haven't read and you see the cover and you're like, why is that? What are you telling me about the book? I just think that's beautiful. Mansfield Park. I also got Emma. <gasps> Guys. Guys. Sorry, I'm looking in my viewfinder a lot because I just want to look at the books too. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. I'm so excited to read it too. Lastly, I got, this is my, I reckon this is the most beautiful one of all the Jane Austen ones. Sense and Sensibility. Look at this book, guys. Look at it. I, what? Ah, I love it. It's so beautiful. I, I need to find different things to say apart from just I love it because clearly I love it because I spent a lot of money on it. I adore it. It's wonderful. Marvellous. Oh. Now let me show you them all together. They look like really lovely when you have the whole set. So just hold on guys. We'll get there. I'm working on it. Wait till my birthday. Oh. They look so beautiful. These have been sitting on my desk too. I waste a lot of time staring at my books. So that's it guys. I'm gonna try and hold up all my cloth down classics. If I drop this, I might cry. <laughs> I love them so much. I just love them. They look so cool together. I should get all my cloth downs out. I'm so happy. This has been long. <laughs> Hasn't it? Too long. But I if you like books, I'm sure you would have stayed to watch because. That's what I do. <laughs> I like to have like book videos on in the background and then they show one and I'm like, and then I go back to what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, that's my book haul. You will not see another one of these for a while. <laughs> Unless I buy some more Shakespeare because they're good. Cause they're small. They're good like in the middle books. Cause these are all quite, 
hefty books, especially reading Russian books. I really love them, but yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> so I might buy some more of the Shakespeare ones. Thanks for watching, guys. I think this will be the end of my vlog as well, even though this hasn't felt like a vlog technically. It's a vlog, even though I'm sitting down. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you again for watching. If you feel like subscribing, you should. <laughs> I've, I've, I've been avoiding saying that because it feels weird to say that. But also it's nice, you know, to have people subscribe to you because you don't feel like such a loser. <laughs> so you are subscribed. So you don't have to subscribe. Thanks for watching. I think you're all lovely. And I hope you enjoyed my book haul. I hope you enjoyed Twist 9 City. I'm sorry I filmed the same food again. It's just so good. I can't really help myself. Okay, I will see you next Monday. Ooh, ooh. I will see you then. Bye, guys. Seriously, though, how am I supposed to get anything done with these staring at me? Look at them. <gasps> Ugh. Man, life's hard. <laughs>